So the next one is about how to do a good push-up, how to train yourself into doing a good push-up. So many people can't do a good push-up. An example is uh, the uh, personal trainer across the hall came in over, and she teaches and does push-ups all day long, and I watched her do her push-up, and it was a dysfunctional, corrupted motor program, meaning when she went down, I'll try to do it, yeah, I'll do it from this way, I might lose the, my feet a little bit, but when she went down, it looked like that. See that? And the head was down and the shoulders were up. And so we had to peel back and train her and basically put training wheels on her so she could do a good push-up or uh, a yoga chaturanga. The yoga chaturanga you'll recognize as kind of when you're, you hover in a low push-up position with your elbows back to your side. So. This is a great, great exercise, and everyone should be able to do this. It's a, it's a fantastic training exercise, but most people cannot control the shoulder blade as they go down because it wants to shrug up because most people have upper trap dominant patterns, right? So the training wheels for this, right? Basically, it's going to be kind of like you're in baby belly, like so, and all you're going to do is get long, breathe, and try to push away gently without allowing the shoulder blades to rise, okay? So we're going to push away like this, down are going to come the shoulder blades, and you're going to hold for two or three breaths, and relax. Again, after you take a couple of breaths, two or three holds, and relax. And you don't want to let your chin poke, and you don't want to let your chin hang. You're going to keep your chin long, okay? because eventually we want to be able to pop up and actually lift the belly off the ground and hold for a couple of breaths, even if it's for one breath at first, okay? Good. And now, after you've done that, maybe you do a Russian descending pyramid there, okay? Like you do a isometric where you push and hold, two breaths, and relax. Two breaths. And relax. So you do, let's just call it three. We'll do a three, two, one. And then we'll go to the top of that, and we're going to start on the knees. And then eventually we'll go to the feet. But at the top, what we're going to do is we're just going to maintain. We never want to let the, this and this happen, right? We're going to try to come down just a little bit and still maintain your scapular stability here. So we don't want this to happen, we want to make sure the scapula stays down. And you might want to have someone check that for you because it's hard to see in a mirror as well. Okay, so we're going to go down and hold for two breaths, back up. Hold for two breaths, back up. See, we're building strength at the top and the bottom, and then eventually, you know what's going to happen, is eventually we'll be able to, we'll be able to get strong here, and we'll be able to get maybe up to here, right? And then pretty soon, we'll be able to do a full push-up on our knees or chaturanga on our knees, and then we work our way to our feet. So you see this is a great way to program the movement so you don't stress and strain yourself so you can get the benefit of the strength and cardiovascular benefits. So you get those benefits without altering your movement patterns and creating pain and dysfunctional patterns that send stress signals to your brain. Because remember, anytime your, your shoulders go up and your chin pokes forward and you get into these patterns, that's telling your brain that something is up, something is wrong. So it sends a buzz signal. Okay? When it sends that buzz signal, you're sending the sympathetic nervous system into action and that's the stress system. That means all of the growth and renewal stuff, all of the repair mechanisms in your body gets put on hold and you start making bullets for the war, right? And so the economy of the homeland in your body suffers when you're making bullets for the war. Uh, you don't, your immune system plummets, your, uh, your, your sex hormones take a dive, uh, uh, stress physiology, all of the things that happen with stress physiology. You de demineralize your bone, all of these, uh, you crave more sugar, all of that stuff happens 
whenever you're running the sympathetic fight or flight foot on the gas while you're in neutral foot on the grass right that's what the nervous system does until it gets back into that centrated position and that's the reason why we do all this stuff that's why we want to reverse these cross posture syndromes is to calm the nervous system okay all right so that's how you train yourself into a good push-up and I like to do push-ups with the elbows in close to the side because it just trains better scapular stability there's times when you can start training them out to the side but I like beginning people in close okay if you can do them in close all the outside the ones when you go with the outside will be easier whenever you get there <laughs>